Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new here. My name is Layla and as you can tell by the title of this video, I want to share with you my experience with bullet journaling. Now, I have been somebody who is fascinated by bullet journaling, however, I always thought it was too much and so I have tried it before and I just felt it took too much time and it was nice while I was doing it, but I ended up just giving it up. However, I started looking into bullet journaling again. You would know that if you watch my vlogs. Uh, I started watching a lot of the videos that people put out, share, like flipping through their bullet journals, and that's exactly what this video is going to be. I really wanted to adopt a more minimal bullet journal because the ones that are complicated are not my style. Uh, while I think they look beautiful and amazing, I just don't have the time for that or I really don't want to dedicate the time for doodling in my bullet journal. And I really just wanted to try this out for the final few months of 2020 so that I could see if I want to make this a permanent thing in 2021. Typically, I purchase a planner that's already that's dated and everything. It's already filled out. And then I'll purchase a notebook to keep track of everything else. I, I have a notebook for every single year, but I wanted to see if I could combine the two and have my notebook be a part of my planner and something that I basically customize every week, every month, and so on. I am just using a very basic bullet journal. I don't even remember the brand. I will link it down below. It was $7.99 and it's five point something inches by eight point something inches. It has this closure that you can release and then when you open it it is just the the dotted style there are bullet journals you can buy that are actual squares uh, you could just do this on plain paper or lined paper but obviously the, the little dots are going to help guide you um, and then it does have the little bookmark only one of them and i believe this has like 120 something pages so i feel like this is a good size for three months of my life and that's why I wanted to test it out because I would not want a new notebook every three months. I would prefer to purchase a larger notebook for a whole year. So that's what we're trying out. I did put my logo sticker on here. So it did not come with that, obviously. And these are always linked in my bio or linked in my description box. I will show you everything that I have in my bullet journal as of right now and kind of how I've been laying things out in just a moment. I first wanted to run through the writing utensils and tools that I use for bullet journaling. It's very simple and you can literally use just a pen if you wanted to. This is the main pen I use. I did not purchase new ones for this bullet journal. I had already purchased these sometime last year and I really like them. I will link them down below, but it basically is a fine tip inked pen and and I think it writes really nicely and like how it comes out uh, but I know some people purchase really fancy ones for their bullet journal that's not what I prefer to do I use a six inch ruler and this is so old as you can tell it's very childish I I don't know where this is from I've probably had it since I was in elementary school I don't know where it came from but that's what I use I also just use a mechanical pencil just for writing certain things and then I use a blue inked pen. Again, I just had this in my house, a pink one and a green one, which I'll show you what these are used for. Again, I just had these, but I can I can find these exact products and link everything down below. Now, I do also use colored pencils just to add a little bit of detail, but I'm not going to, you know, there's no point in me pulling that out. And obviously that is completely optional as well. It's just to add a little pop of color when I want to. I'll show you where I use that when I show you what I've been doing. Starting this bullet journal has actually really inspired me to stay focused on my work. And I will share with you the new productivity system that I have been trying to incorporate every single day. And that has really helped me to just cross off the things that I really need to do that are really important in my life. So I will share that tip with you. It is literally so simple and you've probably heard it before, but I feel like this bullet journal has allowed me to implement that more. As silly as that sounds, um, it's also just fun to create and just have everything in one place. I think the size of this is really convenient. It's something I can just pop into my bag and literally bring with me everywhere because that's what I prefer to do in case I need to jot anything down. But let's just jump right into the layout that I've been working with as of lately. Okay, so here's the cover of my bullet journal. 
Uh, I believe this is navy blue, but they also had a gray color and a brown color. I just chose to go with this because it's got some fall vibes. I don't know. I think it's cute. This is the front. It comes plain. Uh, however, I just put my logo sticker on it. And like I said, it has this little closure. So on the first page, you could write your name and all that. I just didn't bother to do that. Here, I just stuck some things that I wanted to. These are actually, this is from a Go Macro bar. And I like what it says, live long, eat positive, give back, tread lightly, and be well. And it's actually a company I'd love to work with in the future. So it's just kind of like inspiration plus a little vision board. And this is Ritual from Ritual Multivitamins another company that I would like to work with. This first page, I don't really like how it's like this, so I didn't use it. However, over here, I did count the number of dots and squares in this specific notebook because that really helps when you're drawing the lines. So I did how many individual dots there are going down, how many are going across, and then I did complete squares going down and complete squares going going across. So that's something just to refer to. Now, I know some people also put their key at this point or maybe on the next page, but I am not following the bullet journal format. Uh, I just don't really like it in regards to the key, like where you have your task or your event. Uh, if you don't do it, the arrows and all that. I didn't bother with that. I kept it simple for myself. On this first page, I got a little bit fancy just because I wanted to, and I really love quarterly goals, so that's what this is. And so I put quarter four goals and broke it down into six areas, uh, career and business, relationship, giving slash co contribution, finances, personal development, and health and fitness. And as you can see, I didn't put too much. I didn't want to overwhelm myself, and my main focus is career and business, that's why it's at the top, that's why there are more things. So I'm not getting too crazy specific this, you know, the, for the end of the year or even going forward. I just wanted to kind of have something to refer to. And then here is my level 10 life chart, I guess you could say. And I just thought this would be a fun thing to do to look at every month. And so I did this when I started this bullet journal and then I'm going to, at the end of every month for the rest of the year, I'm gonna come back and color in if there has been any changes. So basically you can look up how to do this, but it's very simple. You just have a circle with 10, 10 sections each. And then for this, there are 10 areas of life. So 10 areas, each with 10 levels, health and fitness, personal development, spirituality, finances, career, family and friends, relationship, fun and recreation, giving and contribution, and physical environment. And then you rate that on a scale of one to 10, how you are feeling about that in your life. And then I did a darker line for where that ended. And then I can come back here and hopefully it will be going out and I can keep track of how I feel throughout the next few months. Here is just a very simple spread of blog ideas and video ideas basically. So blog post ideas are on this side. I wanted a whole page for that because I know I will fill this up. And then over here, I do have two YouTube channels. So this is video video ideas for this channel, Living Like Layla, and then video ideas for my finance channel over here. As you can see, it's very simple and very minimal. I just wrote the title at the top and did a little border around the around the edges. Now this is my favorite page and I think it's so fun and probably the, the one page that took me the longest. I would say making this plus the next couple of pages took about an hour total, but this was my first time doing it. So all I did was create a calendar. Uh, this is not something that I need to be large. I just want it so that I can refer back to it and make sure I got my dates right. This is also probably something where I will fill in the bills that are due on each of these days, something that I do in my typical planner anyway. So it's literally just writing the bill and the dollar amount that I owe. I did a little detail here of a plant and this is, I just used this pen and some colored pencil, so nothing fancy. This started out just as an experiment really. So here I created a box, I added a little bit of shadowing detail and I divided this one into goals and to do for the month of September. And then I did content 
for the month of September here. Again, I divide that by my blog and then my YouTube channels. And here are my habits for the month and then my sleep and mood tracker. So this probably is something that people would not want to do because it requires more time. Uh, every single day you would typically be filling this out. And so I also didn't want to overwhelm myself, so I only stuck to 10 habits that I wanted to keep track of. And that's, you know, I can change this every month if I want to. And I, I actually probably will change some of these because I don't really want to track them. I didn't start this bullet, bullet journal until the 13th of September, so that's why all of this is grayed in. So basically all you're seeing is the first of the month all the way to the last day of the month. Same with on this side. And then I have my habits across the top, no snooze, meditate, Wim Hof breathing, read, journal slash gratitude, 10,000 steps, have more than 64 ounces of water, write 300 or more words, work in pomodoros, and then an evening tidy. And then over here, I have a scale of one to five, and the blue line represents my sleep, the pink line rep represents my mood for the day. And over here, the green means I did it, the pink means I did not, and so I have a little key for that. And then the black dashes are basically where I'm not really concerned about it, so typically on the weekends, which is, I have the weekends separated out here, I don't care to be writing 300 words or doing Pomodoros, anything like that. Uh, I was <laughs> doing really well the first time that I started this, and you can see that I've had a little bit of a rough week last week but it's okay i do like to see this i'm not putting pressure on myself to complete everything it's just a way for me to see how i'm feeling you know just figure out what's going on with my life and i can also compare that to my sleep and my mood for the day so i don't know if i can get anything out of this it's something i just want to try out maybe i won't do this in the future but for now i like it i have this little tab here just so i can Keep coming back to it this is just some thin washi tape can you even see that yes just some thin washi tape that i folded over so that i can find this page easily and then this was the first week that i did this and the main thing that i loved about this is these three boxes so basically every morning i would create these three boxes and write down the top three things that i need to do for the day and if I wanted to, I would add another thing below that. So you can see for this, uh, really I only did that for two days, but I really just wanted to focus on com completing those first three things because those were the most important and really would move the needle in whatever I'm achieving. These little circles on each are Pomodoros. So I was tracking 25 minute Pomodoros if I was doing them each day. And I don't know if I wanna continue doing that. Um, I actually haven't been continuing to do that because I'm realizing I don't really love that system. I just really like this three things in the day, get that done and we're good to go. Because as you can see, I, I was really focused on that and I was able to complete every single thing. I also write down some exciting things that may have happened. So for example, I had a bill that had charged me too much and got that down to zero. I wrote over 800 words this day. Uh, I got my flight refund. I booked a trip to Colorado. Uh, yeah, so I just wanna kind of keep track of the good things in my life too. And the weekends are not so important. That's why these sections are, are smaller because I typically don't do as much on the weekends. Now, I did change this. So as you can see, all I did was the day of the week and the date of that day and I just colored this in with colored pencil this is just orange for September and that's it very simple and I had to do five lines that's all and with that I made this little good morning page so every morning I will open this up and write down the date how I'm feeling and the things that I'm grateful for and then sometimes I will journal so basically all I did for this was write good morning at the top I turn the O into a little sun and put this in yellow colored pencil. And so then every morning when I do my journaling, this counts as the gratitude and journaling 
And then I will typically start working on my habits first thing in the morning. So that's where I'll flip back to here and record how I slept. And I will fill in any habits that I may have done for the day or the day before. And I have really wanted to get back into weekly meetings with myself. So I do have a blog post on this. I'll link it down below. I did. I used to have these before. Uh, last year I was doing weekly meetings with myself and sometimes with my boyfriend. But basically uh, I write down my goals and I write down my accomplishments from the past week, the things I want to improve, and then important things for the next week. So then the next week I changed things up a bit. So I turned my weekly spread into one page because I was realizing that this seat was too much. There's just a lot of open, open space. Again, I think I will change this, but I'm not sure yet. So I think this is too small for me, but it'll, it'll still work for now. Again, I stuck to those three tasks. And if I didn't complete it, I turned, I made it pink. Um, you can see on some days I didn't even have to fill in things if I didn't feel there was too much going on. Uh, again, I was still writing exciting things happening. Somebody purchased some merch. That was my first sale. So I wrote that just to keep track of it. And you can see that I removed the Pomodoros. So I stopped working in Pomodoros this week because I didn't feel like it was the best thing for me. Again, I have the good morning page and then the weekly meeting. So again, the same thing here. Now we're on today, the week for today. So you can see that I typically don't fill in these top three tasks until the morning of. So that's where you see on Monday, I'm filming this today. I need to film, edit and upload this video. Um, write this blog post, write and schedule an email related to this blog post. And so then underneath that are just other important things. I've started financial coaching and things like that. So that's what you are seeing underneath it. Those are still priorities, of course, but that is just like I, I must do those things because they are in my schedule. Now, I did mess up on this part. After this page should be a good morning page and a weekly meeting page, but I completely forgot about it and moved on to October. And so I made October a little bit cuter. I did the same layout basically. The only thing that changed was here. So I did the monthly calendar and I put cute little leaves. It's so simple. This, this took me less than an hour this time, even for everything going after that because I knew how to do it. And once you do one thing, you can kind of refer back to it to count everything and get the right sizing. And then this, instead of putting my goals and everything like that here, I put this all for content because I, I need more room for that. I filled this in exactly as I needed. And then I haven't filled this part in yet. I will once we get a little bit closer to October. So I'm gonna put in another 10 habits. I think I'm gonna change things up because I'm realizing, like I said, I don't wanna do the Pomodoros. I don't know if I really like the Wim Hof breathing technique every single day. So. Uh, I have yet to work this out. As you can see here, the center of this is starting to rip a little. However, it is threaded, so I'm not really concerned about it, but I don't know if anybody has a problem with that. This was relatively cheap though. Again, my sleep tracker's here, but I'm not gonna fill that in until the month starts. And for the month of October, I put important slash to do. I put my goals section here, and then I just have another note section just to put something as it comes up. And like I said, I forgot that good morning page and the weekly meeting. So this is the good morning for this week and for the weekly meeting. And then I went into the next, the first full week of October. I changed the color for October. This is like a, it's hard to tell on camera, but it's like a, puke green color, honestly. It's, it's supposed to be like an olive color, but it didn't come out as I was expecting. Uh, and then I set up the good morning pages and weekly meeting for that. And that is all I have for now. I like that I can change this as the time goes. And I think the main thing that I'll probably be changing is this. I think I do wanna make this two spreads again because I'm finding that I am filling it up pretty quickly. And so I think I wanna make it on two pages again and still keep it 
fairly small and then add the note section on each week. So instead of a note section being here, I probably would just make it weekly. I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna go with the flow of it. But as of right now, this is is working. But I, with the financial coaching and other things I've been taking on, I've been finding myself needing a little bit more space, which is a good thing, uh, but I don't know yet. In regards to note taking, what I did do is if you flip it over and go to the back, there is a pocket here, by the way. I don't have anything in there. But I decided to start, if I have a blog post that I need to outline, the notebook is upside down now, and I just can do an outline of my blog post. I already wrote this blog post. Um, and yeah, this is just basically if I need to add, take any notes on something or want to outline a blog post or a course or a video, that would go here. All right, that is everything for my bullet journal. I do plan on using this for the rest of the year, but I don't think I'll do an update on this every month or anything. You can comment down below if that is something you would prefer to see. I just don't know how much it'll change. I do want to create a 2021 bullet journal. So when that time comes, I will probably share a video then of me setting up my 2021 journal. So far with the system I've been using, I have found it very simple to work with. And like I said, inspirational for me, which has increased my productivity for the most part. I think the main thing I love about it is you can completely customize it. And even if you mess up, it doesn't matter. You can fix it some way, somehow. And you don't need to feel pressured to make your bullet journal super pretty or include all these things that just aren't necessary for you. I love that we get to pick and choose what we put in here and what will actually help us as an individual. So everything that I have mentioned will be linked down below. Let me know if you guys have started a bullet journal or if you have ever done one or if you plan to do one. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.